There are two World Cups that need to be played, the 2022 Qatar event and the 2026 United States-Canada-Mexico matches, and there's still the matter of time. There are 11 and a half years to go before the first match of the 2030 World Cup. But World Cup bid committees are beginning to assess whether it is worth spending billions of dollars to make FIFA, the governing body of international soccer, happy with the prospect of playing the 2030 World Cup in their countries. FIFA doesn't really care about human rights. If the organization was really concerned, then the 2022 World Cup would not be in Qatar, where facilities are being built by what is best described as slave labor. That is why it is laughable that Krasin Krelev, the Bulgarian sports minister said his country, along with Greece, Serbia, and Romania, could bid for FIFA's crown jewel event and give FIFA what it wants, a bid that would include political and economic stability. Kralev said the joint bid is an important political sign. It shows that the Balkan countries will work together not only in the field of sport, but will jointly stand up for their common and political interests. This is what FIFA is looking for, a political and economic stability. This is the most important thing after infrastructure. FIFA cares neither about the economic or the political stability of host countries. FIFA members seemingly only care about money, and some FIFA delegates have been arrested for taking bid committee money in exchange for votes. Kralev came up with the why you should pour public money into building sports venues talking points. He contended that building roads, airports, and sports infrastructure produces huge profits for those countries. The Balkans, the English Football Association, the trio of South American countries, and Morocco want the 2030 event. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.